the go-kart, definitely it's about the adrenaline. A lot of the activities here is adrenaline based. During high season, we have Nairobi people, other people from the neighboring countries like Somalia, Uganda, Tanzania. It includes everyone of all ages, gender. It's inclusive of everybody. The high-pitched whine of carts around a circuit will definitely satisfy speed freaks everywhere. The fun of a karting experience is unmatched. This is Mombasa Go-Kart along Mombasa Malindi Road. So my father started uh, the place in 2003. He started with just go-kart racing and then later on, after the years went by, he added the restaurant and other activities. The vision he had was basically opening a place that has activities for everyone. One of the most thrilling locations here at the coast for both the old and young alike to discover or revive a taste of speed, have friendly racing competitions or just for kids to have fun and play. A lot of the activities here is adrenaline based, so it's about the adrenaline, the racing. For children, they love cars, a lot of children love cars. Uh, for paintball, it's more about the thrill, so it's quite scary, but it's not, painful, not too painful. A bit painful, but not too painful. So the fact that you can get hurt is what uh, keeps it very thrilling, however it's very safe. Um, for the zip line, again, it's like a mini adrenaline activity, it's a nice view over the track. Um, for the rodeo bull, it's something that is quite unique, you don't see it a lot in Kenya especially, so that's just a unique activity. We open during the week at 3.30 in the afternoon up to 10 p.m. So we are mainly a night activity. You see now it's all under flat light at night. So even paintball you can play at, uh, play at that time. On the weekend we open a bit earlier, on the Saturday at 2.30, on the Sunday at 1.30. It's so well because so long as when I am come here inside, I'm supposed to look, everything is in order so that we can serve the customer well. The maintenance of the go-kart are in order and the staff are in all in their position works. According to what I know from here, because it's like a sport area. So even when you are lazy, you train to be not lazy because all the time we run on the track. When the customer has a problem, you have to run and assist the customer. So you are doing a lot of exercise all the time. So you become more flexible. That is what is here. So if you, you are working, working here at Gokart, you're supposed to be flexible so that you can assist the customer. So because you can run this corner, this corner. So all the time it's a sport area, which means people working at Gokart, they are flexible now. While working against the clock in a bid to race over the finish line in the quickest time possible, your safety is key. We go through the briefing, registration, where you watch a video that takes you through all the steps and takes you through all the rules of the track. Um, otherwise, you don't really need much training. It's very easy to do. A first time, uh, even a child is able to do it first time. The go-kart and the paintball, before doing both activities, you have a helmet. For the paintball, it's for the reason that no one is to shoot your eyes or your face, for that matter. Uh, for the go-kart, helmet is of course needed. Uh, we also have various, many marshals on the track. Uh, so when there's an accident that happens, they quickly rescue you, put you back, or if there's any uh, injuries, they can take you out. Um, yeah. Everything is provided for you, however you are recommended to bring clothes, shoes and a sporty attire. But if you do fail to bring uh, those, we have some shoes that you're able to wear, if you want to buy some gloves, and we have an overall in case you're wearing clothing that is loose or uncomfortable for the go-kart. The tires condition you have to check they are in order. The revolutions of the engine also we have to monitor if they are order. So long as when you get the customer, the car can perform without any complaint from the customer. So when you are driving a go-kart, on the track you are supposed not to leave the go-kart on the track. If you have a problem, you are supposed to raise you, lift your hand up, and then our machine will come to assist you. Because so long as when you come out of the go-kart, maybe the somebody is driving behind you, can crash you. Then another thing, you have to put on the helmet all the time because one of the safety. Overall, also you can put the overalls 
on, on, on of the safety. And if you want to become a pro in this game, to negotiate a corner depends on your speed. If your speed is too slow, it's easy to negotiate a corner. But if your speed is too high, you are supposed to come outside, then you go inside. Because when you are in, driving inside, you cannot make a sharp corner. So the first thing you are supposed to judge at your speed, the speed you are driving. If you can manage to make a corner, it's okay. If not, you have to slow down. But uh, with the go-kart, it's a bit different. So long as when you slow down, you have to press the gas and brake at the same time, the go-kart will slow down. If you leave the, mo the gas at uh, immediately, you slow your time and the, it will take a more time for the go-kart to pick. So which means you are supposed to judge the distance where, uh, where you can supposed to leave the gas and press it again. So the, the go-kart can get a, a lot of momentum. How much will it cost you to enjoy a good time and food at the Mombasa go-kart? Go-kart for children is 600 and adults it's 1,300. That's for 10 minutes on the track. Zip line is 500, uh, paintball is 1,500, then the small activities are all 200. We don't have an entrance fee, so you're free to come into go-kart anytime you wish, walk around, see what's happening, but you do pay for the activities that you do. Uh, for the restaurant, we do have quite low prices. Uh, it's quite fair. We are a family place, so we try and keep it family budget. Um, like for example, sodas are 80 bob, uh, chips is 150, half a chicken, 500, and so on. We do a lot of food. Menu yetu hiko nzuri sana, ni international, tukona local meals pia ziko, vakulamba kiswaili pia ziko. Imeona soko ikiwa nzuri, ikiwa mbaya, tunajua vila mbavo tunafanya, to change the situations, wajua, kulekuja mambo na corona, tuka survive. Na sana sana hapa hatukosi wateja. Hapa hatukosi wateja, mana tukuna chakula kizuri, chakula eko fresh. Apparently this is the only place uneza pata soda mpaka kwa shilingi temanini. Kufikia saa hii ya. Kuingine kote ya hukuta pata mali kama bei kama hiyo. Pizza, nilikuambia pizza we have the best and I mean it. Kwanzia mpishi uko sawa, mpishi. Pali na pikiwa iko sawa the oven, cheese, I get the best cheese here. Na bay pia, tunakikisha iko sawa. So kama bay zetu za pizza ni kuanzia shilingi miya sita, mpaka miya saba na kumi. The go-kart, definitely it's about the adrenaline. A lot of the activities here is adrenaline based. So it's about the adrenaline, the racing. For children, they love cars. A lot of children love cars. Uh, for paintball, it's more about the thrill. So it's quite scary, but it's not, pain, not too painful. A bit painful, but not too painful. So the fact that you can get hurt is what uh, keeps it very thrilling. However, it's very safe. Um, for the zip line, again, it's like a mini adrenaline activity. It's a nice view over the track. Um, for the rodeo bull, it's something that is quite unique. You don't see it a lot in Kenya, especially. So that's just a unique activity, and yeah. Uh, so we have a lot of the locals from Mombasa. Uh, during high season, we have Nairobi people, other people from the neighboring countries like Somalia, Uganda, Tanzania, and occasionally international. However, that's not our biggest clients. It's mostly local and 
from the neighboring countries. He started with just go-kart racing and then later on, after the years went by, he added the restaurant and other activities. The vision he had was basically opening a place that has activities for everyone. So it includes everyone of all ages, gender, it's inclusive of everybody. So a family place. Interestingly, this hotspot also has a zoo that you can visit if the adrenaline rush is not your fancy. We have a mini petting zoo with different animals like donkeys, we have sheep. Uh, we used to have a llama, two llamas, but unfortunately they left us. Uh, they died. We have tortoise and other animals. So this is basically for the children and adults to just uh, mingle with the animals. And also us as the Gokart family, we really love animals and are enthusiastic about those. So it was just a nice addition to the place. With this our track, uh, according to the experience I have, most of the kids, they are the best drivers so far than the adult. You train them, they catch up very fast and drive in a nice way than adult. That is all the experience I have here. The go-kart family is adding more fun to this space. In just a matter of time, this plane here will be a spot to chill and hang out. I wanted to introduce you to our latest attraction here, our Dakota here. This plane has a very long history. It uh, was built during the Second World War and was then delivered to the, to the New Zealand Army in 1945. So that's almost 80 years ago. It's an old lady. It has an adventurous life. Maybe I took you quickly through it. It was first flying for the, na for the, um, uh, for the army, as I said. And then after that, it was one of the first planes of the commercial air uh, airline of uh, New Zealand. It was flying for two decades for the airline. It had a crash once and then was rebuilt in a nicer way and from then on it was flying mainly VIPs from the government in New Zealand. After that it was uh, sold to an adventurer, a hunter in New Zealand who was hunting deer in the mountains with helicopters alive with net and then transporting them in the Dakota to the distribution points. After that it went to a company called Field Air. That was very adventurous. They make agriculture um, Fertilizer spraying in the mountains. That is a very crazy way of flying. They, they fly very low in the mountains and then they open the boot down and let the fertilizer out to fertilize the land. It needs really a brave uh, pilot to do that. After that again, it went to another adventure called uh, David Morris. David Morris was, in, was uh, flying for the UN. He was making supply for the UN, first in Cambodia and then here in Mombasa. That's how the plane came to Mombasa here. He was flying in Mombasa, from Mombasa to Mogadishu and supplying there about 29,000 uh, staff of the Unison from the UN. The plane was many times shot at when we were re uh, painting the plane. We found several uh, bullet uh, holes. Finally, this uh, David Morris got killed in Somalia. And that's how the plane ended up on the airport of uh, Mombasa there in 1995, where it stayed for now almost 30 years there. It was abandoned, it was, uh, everything which was valuable was taken out. And uh, now last year, uh, Kenya, Port uh, Kenya Aircraft Authority sold it as scrap, or auctioned it as scrap, and we bought it as scrap for only 30,000 shillings. And now we were uh, rebuilding it in its original way there. We are soon through, we are still building on it, and it will be a party plane, which you can hire for parties, birthday parties, other parties, or even for conferences or business meetings inside. It will have inside uh, a nice air-conditioned uh, environment. And under the plane, there is an area for choma, where you can make boozy barbecue, and that's the concept. And we are soon ready with that in about six weeks. For the owners of this hotspot, they equally enjoy a moment of fun and thrill. I'm getting a little bit too old for racing, so my favorite one is now paintball. 
Ah, it's just kind of a good action there. We, we play it there in the forest there with a lot of trees, especially at night with the light. It's kind of, of fairy and ghostly. I, I really like it. I want to welcome everybody to Mombasa Go-Kart. I think we are a nice place. Please come here. When your kids, when you bring your kids here once, they will nag you every weekend to come back, I'm sure. I think my favorite activity at go-kart is definitely go-karting. Just because as a female driver, since I am, I've grown up here and I know this track, I'm really good, good at it in my opinion. And I love beating men on the track. You know, you go into the track, they're expecting you to fail. Men always think they'll win. And then once you take the first place, it's always very um, nice. So yeah, definitely go-kart, because I'm the best like female at go-kart. The Game Zone experience is a fantastic and a great way to spend a day, pushing limits and creating memories, thus attracting people within the coast region and beyond. I think what makes go-kart unique is the fact that everyone has something to do from all ages, from the toddlers in the playground to the older kids driving, adults doing the activities, um, even the grandparents can be at the restaurant taking a drink, watching the others do activities. Um, another unique thing about go-kart is the restaurant prices. I feel like they're quite low, uh, so this is very fair for the people, very budget friendly, and that's quite unique. The benefits of coming to go-kart is it's definitely a very fun place. I feel like since it is very family friendly, it's somewhere you go out with your family, your friends, and you just have a good time, you make memories, and at the end of the day, you've left go-kart full of energy, you, you come with energy, you live with energy because you're still talking about what happened, the activity that took place. So definitely the biggest thing, the benefit is bonding time. We definitely have amazing customer service, all our staff are very friendly and we always try and update to go-kart, always try and add new activities, um, make the place look better and that just keeps the customers coming back. <laughs>